It is 845 Veterans with Disabilities. The stars of a big competition that is in Dallas this week. That competition gets underway this morning. Dan's live on the SMU campus with a look. Good morning. Well, good morning, Lauren. We're on the intramural field here at SMU. It's the National Wheelchair Games for Disabled U.S. Veterans. And on this field, they're doing the discus, the javelin, and the shot put competition. We're able to see some right now. Not far away, track events are being held here at SMU and at the Dallas Convention Center downtown. Lots of other competition taking place as well. Let's talk with just a couple of the athletes who are participating as we wait for this veteran. All right, for that attempt with the javelin. All right, here is, I'm gonna step right over here, Jeremiah Butler, Army veteran, what have you been competing in this morning? I've competed in uh, shot put and javelin. How'd it go for you? Um, it went well, I believe so. <laughs> What's it like for you to, to be here at, the, at this event? Uh, for me, it's just uh, camaraderie. Um, it's a chance to, to gauge yourself on, on your competition. And for me, it's just overall uh, camaraderie, talking to my, my fellow veterans and, and fellowshipping with them. I can imagine it's a it's a great feeling and a great bond. Thank you, uh, Jeremiah. And over here, Gabe Diaz de Leon, de Leon another uh, Army veteran. And, and Gabe, you, you've been competing in this event almost every year, what, since 1986? Since 1986. In fact, the first year that I competed, it was here in Dallas. Oh, it's in a different venue every year, but or a different city, but, the, first but way back in 86. My first games are right here in Dallas, so it's, I, it's almost like come around. <laughs> and, yeah, and talk about some of the events you've you've competed in over the years. Okay, um, here at the games, you know, it allows us to try different, all the different uh, venues and different events. Where you know, if you're good at track and field, then you might want to, you know, away from the veteran wheelchair games, compete, you know, at a national level. Yes. But here, you're able to try swimming, table tennis, bowling. They have you know, air guns, air rifles, uh, skeet shooting. They have every event that you can compete in. And Gabe, you also do a lot of work mentoring, working with younger veterans who are disabled, helping them with a lot of different adjustments. Yes, you know, because when you're first injured, you know, we, we try to get them young when they're in rehab because the, you know, we all started somewhere. And, you know, I remember when I was first injured, it's like you, you kind of question life, you know, what am I gonna do? What can I do? What's out there? So, you know, we try to get them away from feeling sorry for themselves and staying active and getting involved in sport because no matter what sport's out there, it can be adapted for wheelchair yeah. or for whatever disability you have. And you guys both are such shining examples of that. Thank you both for your service, Gabe Thank and you. Jeremiah. Uh, this annual event is uh, put on by the National Department of Veterans Affairs as well as the Paralyzed Veterans of America. Competition continues through Friday at the Dallas Convention Center. Reporting live, Dan Godwin on Good Day.